Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're going to be showing you another beautiful boat by Marine Connection. It's a 2005 Trophy 2103 Center Console and it's powered by a Mercury 200 EFI motor. Now our service department has done an inspection on the motor and on the boat and everything has checked out fine. We're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward, and then we're going to take it out for a quick ride. Starting at the transom, we have a large swim, swim platform on both sides, both on the starboard and port side of the boat. And over on the port side, we do have a three-step boarding ladder, and you have a grab handle as well. At the center of the transom, we have our splash well. Motor is equipped with hydraulic steering, and then we have our primer bulb as well uh, located in the splash well. The, uh, you have an access hatch that gives you access down to your bilge pump. And then coming on top of the transom, we have our live well. It's a recirculating live well, and that's operational. Little storage bin, but if I pull this bin out, you have more access down to your pumps. Gives you easy access to your fresh water, uh, live well pump, and raw water wash down pump. Now that I mentioned it, the boat is equipped with fresh water and uh, salt water wash down. The salt water wash down hookup is over here on the back starboard side of the boat. Fresh water hose located on the top of the transom as well, and it's conveniently located right next to the transom door. Gives you uh, easy access on and off the boat. Little protection for those of you who have uh, children and whatnot. And then all the way over on the port side, we have another storage compartment. Our fill for our two cycle oil and a little more access in this storage bin down into the uh, uh, bilge area. On both corners of the boat, the boat is equipped with self bailing cockpit. And then directly in front of the transom, we have this beautiful rear bench seat, okay, which locks into place and gives you some additional seating in the back of the boat. Nice combing bolster as a backrest. At the center of the cockpit, we have this uh, fiberglass leaning post with a backrest and four rod rocket launcher. We have a couple of tackle trays on either side, okay, or tackle storage boxes. And then this uh, trophy did a great job with this leaning post. If I flip these uh, box, up directly underneath the seat we have additional storage and then we have our battery switch the boat is equipped with dual batteries and as you can see the switch is over here plenty of room in the cockpit for fishing combing bolsters along the gunnel sides top of the gunnels we have four mounted rod holders and some cup holders and then notice that we have plenty of, of height you're playing freeboard as far as uh, being safe out there if it's a little rough and whatnot uh, Sides of the boat come up fairly high. So nice deep cockpit. We have some under gunnel rod storage underneath the gunnels and then coming up to the uh, helm area We have our display of gauges and then we have our rocker switches for our systems and everything is operational at this time We also have Lanco trim tabs on the boat Compass which is mounted directly center over the wheel give you a good heading for those long distance uh, runs and then our T-top is in great shape. If you look at the aluminum, everything's in good condition. The canvas is in great shape. And then we have four rod holders across the, the back of the top. Uh, leaning post, once again, the, the upholstery is in great shape. The upholstery throughout the boat's in great shape. Um, if I sit on here, you'll see that we have a nice footrest. So whether you're standing up while you're running a boat or sitting down, it's very comfortable to be on. Coming up towards the bow, in front of the console, we have an enclosed head with the porta potty, and that is a plumb porta potty. Okay, that means that you do have a pump out, which, as you can see over here, it says waste, and you can go to a pump out station and have it pumped out. Low profile grab rails, about bow rails all the way forward. It keeps the lines of the boat nice and clean, yet very functional. And then all the way up front, underneath this casting deck, we have a fish box or storage compartment. It is uh, plumbed. If I come up to the fish box, you'll see that you have plenty of room. If you're doing some uh, live, uh, 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 if you're trying to cast net some live bait and whatnot, or you're just casting up here, you got plenty of room. And then we have our large anchor compartment. Our uh, anchor cleat is, loaded, is mounted up front. And then we also have our bow pulpit and then two forward uh, cleats. The boat also has two stern cleats and then two midship cleats. So that pretty much concludes the uh, overview of the top side of the boat. As you can see, the gel coat's in great shape all the way around the boat. Motor runs great. We'll show you that right now when I start her up and take her out for a ride. The upholstery's in great condition. So 
uh, overall for the year of the boat, uh, well, heck, for if it was, even if it was a 2008, I mean, this boat is uh, pretty much in uh, excellent condition. So let's fire it up and take it out for a quick ride. Good to go. That concludes the uh, video on the uh, 2005 Trophy 2103 center console. As you can see, the boat runs great, handles great. The steering is just uh, nice and smooth. Uh, once again, folks, the overall condition of the boat, I'd say it's excellent. I mean, the boat's in fantastic shape, so definitely be a good buy. From West Palm Beach, Florida and Marine Connection, God bless and have a great day.